Facebook's oversight board has upheld the decision to suspend former US President Donald Trump. Let's go straight to our US correspondent, Mark Stone. Um, Mark, what have they said? This has just come in in the last couple of minutes. Yes, uh, just uh, four minutes or so ago, a decision by the Oversight Board um, who operate, uh, funded by Facebook, but an independent oversight, uh, uh, oversight board, it should be stressed, uh, were asked to look into the decision, or asked indeed by, by Donald Trump and his team, uh, to look into the decision uh, to ban him from Facebook, a decision that was made by Facebook's chief executive uh, on January the 6th as a consequence uh, of numerous... Um, tweet uh, numerous posts on Facebook that he had made over the course of, of several months, but at what amounted to a moment on January the 6th, when we all remember what happened uh, on Capitol Hill here with um, uh, the insurrection there, uh, so-called. Uh, Donald Trump uh, asked for a, a review. The review has taken place and the board has upheld Facebook's decision. So for the time being, Donald Trump will remain off Facebook. That will include, of course, Instagram, which is owned by Facebook. Uh, he is already banned uh, from Twitter. Um, now, what difference will this make? Well, clearly, um, you know, every day I get um, uh, press releases from Donald Trump's team, press releases which resemble the tweets that we, that we remember from last year. He is clearly a man frustrated that he is not able to, to use social media in the way that he once was able to. Um, that, for the time being at least, uh, will be the case certainly with, with Facebook and Instagram. But those press releases show that this is a man who still has a message to get out there. And remember that half the country, almost 47, uh, 74 million people, voted for Donald Trump. He believes they still want to hear from him. He wants that message out there. And he's in the process, we're told, of trying to set up his own social media platform. So, yes, had this decision been reversed, and it's worth stressing that the first four decisions that this independent oversight board had to make on other, uh, other cases, they did, in, in those instances, decide to reverse Facebook's decision. In this case, they have not. Um, but, you know, had, had they over, uh, overturned this, he would have had that platform, which would have been a help to him. They have decided to uphold Facebook's decision, but he is still attempting to get his message out there. He is no longer the president. He still has many followers. What's up, guy? Here is a muscle bro, China. So after this news today, I wanted to talk about Donald Trump is a full thing, the USA streaking in front of the whole world. Uh, I think everyone we we knows what's the most attraction idea of the United States to the world. I think it must be the concept of freedom, right? So freedom, you know, quite uh, you know exciting concepts, especially for some undemocratic countries. People, the concept of freedom had a really big market. You know, I think that's why so many like Chinese or people from other world, you know. Uh, want to immigrate to the United States, even they pay like a lot of money or invest a lot of time, effort, whatever. So, what is the freedom? Obviously, at least people can share their thoughts without a bad cons uh, consequence. Uh, from this news, we can see the USA ex-president are not treated in that way, okay? Donald Trump, the previous uh, American president, he is not a normal person. He is not, definitely not a, a normal person. But suddenly, the current USA government made him to be silent. That's why I said today's American government is uh, running in front of the whole world naked. We all know the Uni United States is uh, one of the most atheism uh, country to defend the human right um, in the whole world. So they always accuse other countries don't give their citizen right to talk free. Okay, so I, I still, you know, think uh, this is a, a great idea, you know, but you have to do what you you say. Okay, this is a, we talk about honest. But does this news shock me? Actually, not. You know, uh, as I said before, freedom sometimes is only a romantic idea or concept for those government people. Only can give their uh, give other people enough space when they are powerful enough. So, what does that mean? So, which means 
So if they don't feel they are comfortable, those uh, per people in power, so they will take those uh, space from other people to secure themselves. Trump is a strong person, not not a weak, normal, like a um, ordinary people. But uh, to be honest, if this time Donald Donald Trump just uh, ordinary people, who will know? Who will know? Government took the power from a person. Don't let him uh, talk or something. So this is why I said this time Donald Trump is forcing the, you know, like uh, the USA to uh, running naked in front of everyone. So I I can tell that after this, um, probably the 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 democratic idea maybe just like a, a beautiful bubble, you know, disappeared in front of everyone. So at the end, I still hope this time the state can find a new way to figure out the problem and at least build some hope for people or for for the the, the future of the world okay thank you guys for watching my video if you like my video please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel peace